Hey there, CFL.ca. This is Marlon the Sultan Hage back again. Yes, another year. After being kicked out of the media breakfast in the past years for making too much noise and eating too much food, the league decided to invite us to an even better event this year. We're here at the Gibson's Finest, and we're going to meet the award finalists. We're going to talk to them. We're going to try to drink their booze and try to get kicked out of this one. So next year, the league will have nowhere to invite me to. So follow me. We're going to have a lot of fun here today. Everybody knows you're a great athlete, you're here as a rookie of the year, but we want to know what's Chris, what's Chris William all about. Oh man, Chris Williams will be chilling, man. I'll be chilling, having fun, chilling with my friends, teammates, playing a video game, going out to eat, we just be having a good time. Call of Duty, big Call of Duty guy. You, I'm, you. I'm actually the guy who gets killed uh, 32 times in, in a five minute segment. This is who I like to play against right here, guys. This is him. <laughs> really, um, I'm a big eater, I eat a lot, you know, um, especially hanging with Angus Reed all the time. Uh, well, I like to work out a lot. Uh, I like to go out to the movies, I like to go shopping all the time. I mean, I'm, I'm just a laid back guy, really. You know, a uh, student to the game, really. I see, he's still young. He's giving us good answer. Oh, yeah. You have your speech ready if you win there tonight? Yeah, I do, I got a little speech ready. We're ready to go. Am I on that, on that list? Uh, of course. Who else are you thinking? We're thanking the entire Ticats organization for believing in me and having a wonderful. Oh, you know, that's a rookie. Coaches. Oh, that's a rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that, come on down. After you took my shrimp, that's fighting. Those are fighting words. These aren't fighting take, words. When you take a man's food, but you better be glad that I love you because you stand in front of me and block for me. You know, I've been around this league, and everybody knows that my strength is my speed, but uh, you challenged me. Well, you know, we had that race in training camp, and you got me, but, uh, but I felt like I, I pushed you. I felt like I made you work for it. I, oh. I finally saw a sweat of bead. Oh, that's Some what come down I here. remember come very down well. Here. There was a hot dog at the end. I was hungry. Oh, yeah. Hopefully next year I'll, I'll be in more shape and come get it. I challenged him to do this interview in Spanish and he won't let me. So I have very bad Spanish, but I'm going to try. Como esta, Antonio? Bien, muy bien. Si. Sí. What do you do with all these trophies? Where do you put them? You got a storage room or you donate them? No, I think my kids have fun with them. They decorate them pretty good. It's uh, I got uh, a lot of um, stickers of uh, Winnie the Pooh and uh, and some other Disney characters on my trophies. The hottest man in the CFL right here. We got him. We got him. Travis Lule. How you doing? I'm doing great. Was hottest? Uh, is that a redhead joke? Uh, not yet, but um, I'm, first of all, I'm jealous because the dream has left. And I wish I was a redhead. I always uh, had a thing for redheads. and. Uh, you know, but it's very nice. Can I touch it? Go for it. It's natural. It's very natural. Is that the reason why he chose the BC Lions? Because of the orange hair? It was the closest thing that came to matching my hair color. Yeah, it's a BC yeah. Lion uniform. So that's what I went for. I just want to touch the hair. Oh, yes. Come on. All right, CFL fans. This is Marlon the Sultan Hage saying goodbye for this year. We had a lot of fun, got a lot of trouble, and we'll see you next year.